We are God's people, we God's care. Our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker, to your name. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, July the 1st. It's the third week after Pentecost and week seven in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 120 and 127, and Romans chapter seven, verse one through 12. Our help is in the name of God most high, who made heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, in my distress I cried to you, my God, and you heard me. Alleluia. Psalms 120 and 127. Alleluia, in my distress I cried to you, my God, and you heard me. Deliver me from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given you in return? What shall be done to you, O false tongue? Sharpened arrows of the mighty with blazing coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Meshach, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. I have dwelt with them that hate peace too long. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Unless God builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless God keeps the city, the sentinels in vain keep vigil. It is vain for you to rise early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For God pours gift on the beloved while they sleep. Children are a heritage from God, and the fruit of the womb is a blessing. As arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of your youth. Happy are they that have their quiver full. They shall not be ashamed when they confront the enemies in the gates. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, in my distress I called to you, my God, and you heard me. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during that person's lifetime. Thus a married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is discharged from the law concerning her husband. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband is dies, she is freed from that law, and if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. In the same way, my friends, you have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members, to bear fruit for death. 
But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captive, so that we are slaves not under the old written code, but in a new life of the Spirit. What then should we say? That the law is sin? Uh, by no means. Yet if it had not been for the law, I would have not known sin. I would have not known what is to cover, to covet, if the law had not said, you shall not covet. But sin, seizing an opportunity in the commandment, produced in me all kinds of covetousness. Apart from the law, sin lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died, and the very commandment that promised life proved to be death to me. For sin, seizing an opportunity in the commandment, deceived me, and through it killed me. So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We place our hope and our trust in you, dear God, for all things come to be by your word. Redeem us and bless us in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia.